Ooh, this here has got to be one of my favorite examples of how ecological forest restoration can help create healthier lands and communities. See, about 60 years ago, this whole forest here was clear-cut logged, which is pretty much the worst thing you could do to a forest, ecologically speaking, at a time when the companies doing the logging didn't have to replant trees. So all these trees you see around me here have all regenerated naturally from the seed bank and the soil, creating an even age stand of what's mostly Western hemlocks, which creates a few big problems. See, the high competition between all these trees creates a really thick single layer canopy as they all compete for resources, which in turn lets very little light down to the understory, so virtually nothing else grows down here. This lack of understory, as well as increased stem flow or water running down the stems of these trees from the tight canopy when it rains, increases erosion of soils and organic matter on the forest floor, which stores less water, making them more prone to droughts and making it harder for things to grow here. Additionally, this fierce competition between all these trees creates all sorts of ladder fuels as they focus on growing up and not out. So when fire does come through here, it quickly climbs these ladder fuels up to the canopy to burn hotter and faster than a fire would naturally. So to help restore this forest, we came in here about 20 years Years ago with a 30% thinning prescription, removing smaller stunted trees and opening up gaps in the canopy while also creating standing dead snags. And the result is pretty dang incredible. Check out all that complexity. The light pouring through the canopy here to the understory has allowed for younger tree saplings, a variety of shrub and fern species, as well as a rich mosaic of mosses on the forest floor to all grow, which all helps absorb and retain moisture that drips through this multi-layer canopy, making these forests more resistant to drought and wildfire. Biodiversity increases here as the diversity of tree ages and species develops complexities, which creates more food and shelter for wildlife, including the standing dead trees that house numerous species as they decay. And this increase in spacing here allows for more room for bigger animals like un and bears to move freely. By creating more space between these trees, those that remain are able to get more resources and light to grow healthier and stronger with more complexity while dropping ladder fuels so they can grow massive like this incredible amabilis fir here that I cannot even wrap my arms around, even though this tree is the same age as these stunted ones behind me here that are no more than six inches in diameter. So ecological restoration like this helps speed up the successional processes of these forests to create healthier ecosystems in a changing climate, more resilient wildlife populations, and opportunities to selectively harvest and maintain forest health in the future without replicating our clear-cut mistakes of the past. Pretty dang incredible.